And we're going to go now to Oxford High School and the controversy surrounding an armed security guard who was at the school during the mass shooting last November. That security guard will now be part of the civil lawsuit brought by parents of students who were killed and injured. She's accused of failing to prevent the death of Justin Schilling, one of the four students killed in the tragedy. Seven others were injured, including a teacher. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner was at court today. He has more from the school attorney about what the guard did and did not do during the shooting. The judge here ruled that Kimberly Potts can be now part of this lawsuit. She can be sued. She's the armed school security guard. Both sides watched on school surveillance video. All by herself, did not wait. Did not hesitate. Not we've all seen Uvalde and how people responded there. Yeah. So this 54-year-old female, by herself, without any body armor, without any shields, without any backup, without anything, drew her gun. Where's the shooter? He went down there, and she went in pursuit of the shooter to confront him. The Uvalde, Texas reference. Police there seen on surveillance video, frozen in the hallway, afraid to move in on an active shooter. In Oxford last November, the attorney for parents says one death could have been prevented by that security guard, Justin Schilling, in a bathroom. Moments after she left the bathroom, uh, uh, Crumley shot and killed Justin Schilling in front of Keegan Gregory, who then ran out the bathroom, escaping for, luckily with his life, thinking that he was going to get shot in the back the entire time. 16-year-old Ethan Crumley is charged with the mass shooting. Outside of court, the attorney for Oxford Schools says he watched what he called snippets of the school surveillance video. Some of the materials were downloaded immediately thereafter. So we have some of the material, but we have don't have. Have you watched the videos? I have watched what we have. And regarding the life and death claim and a failure to act. What did you see in the video? Did I you see the her, same thing? I saw her push the door open as she was going down the hall looking, where is he? But she didn't go in. You didn't see her she go in. She did not enter the bathroom. Not, she was did that not a mistake? The bathroom. No, I don't think it's a mistake because she's pursuing. Where is the person? This person's on the move. But okay. isn't she supposed to go in and make sure that the shooter isn't in there? Isn't that part of her job to clear the building as the first responder? No, she's not there. You need a whole team of people to clear a building. If you want to criticize her acting alone in pursuit of the shooter, I don't think she's subject to criticism. This case is far from over. The attorney for the parents wants school officials to be held in contempt for not turning over their copy of the surveillance video. The attorney for the schools wants this case thrown out entirely over governmental immunity. In Pontiac, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.